see how chewed up that is? That is nasty. And that's on the steering knuckle. That's messed up. watching Jake 3D and today I'm going to replace the steering knuckle on my car. Enjoy! So, got all my torque specs written down. Turn on some light. So before, ah, here's the steering knuckle. Before replacing the steering knuckle, before raising the vehicle actually, you always gotta make sure you loosen all the appropriate bolts. In this case, it's gonna be the axle nut or half shaft nut and the four nuts on the tire. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting those off. In the shake test. Good. Yes, I am sitting down on the ground in the rain, and it sucks. What would suck even more is to have this tire come off on me. The reason I'm replacing the full knuckle is because that's what I could find at the junkyard. I could only find the full knuckle. I was not able to find a hub, so I ended up having to replace the whole knuckle. You see that wiggle? <laughs> that is no bueno. Bad juju. Or a 19, you know, it all works. I had a couple zip ties to secure the caliper. The press I have is completely screwed, so I need to get a new press. Thank you, Harbor Freight. Not that I can be totally surprised with Harbor Freight, but it is what it is. Just hang the caliper up as high as you can without putting stress on the uh, hose there. It just keeps it out of the way. It's still a little bit, maybe I can, maybe I can lift it up a little better, but that's gonna be just fine for now. So, I can do this. There we go. Pull this all the way off. There's a washer behind it. Oh, that is nasty. The little hook right here, the hook in, just keeps it from slipping off as you're tightening it up. I've only had this slip off on me once. And that was the first time I actually used it. You may notice that I did not remove the nut, which I think is a 19. Kind of hard to remove the ball joint if you don't remove the darn ball joint nut. Take two. Let's go ahead and remove that. This is the steering linkage. This one specifically uh, goes straight to the steering. Okay, now we got a bolt down below and the two bolts on top. how it's bending the shaft. Should have left the bottom bolt in. And in fact, got both those bolts in. See how chewed up that is? That is nasty. And that's on the steering knuckle. That's messed up. So I made sure to save that bolt from the used parts. Ugh, something else, every toolbox should not be without, 
is an extra set of bits and a bit driver. This is a bit chewed up. There we go. There's the bearing. There's the wobble. If you stick a magnet on your ratchet and stick your ratchet to something like this, then you can go to town on the bolt and something that's pretty snug fit like this, a lot of times um, you don't even need to move the ratchet because the magnet will hold that wrench enough where the friction will allow you to screw in that nut without ever having to grab that wrench. But it's a good tip for working alone a lot of times. <sighs> Not so bad when you've done this four times. When I pulled this out of the junkyard today, it was up to here in dirt, just all the way up to here. Once I got the bolts released, removed, couldn't find a torque spec for this uh, bolt. So, right about there should do it. So, once I got all these removed, I had to use a pry bar to wedge it out of the ground. There's that. They're like, yeah, we could have got you a scissor jack. A lot of good that does me now that I've pulled it out. Thank you. thinking about creating a whole car channel but I haven't been doing a ton of car stuff lately so if that's something you want to see is a, a lot more car stuff let me know I'd love to hear it okay. so that's pretty close so we got the ball joint here it needs to be set to 74 foot-pounds and lock it in place clockwise oh and I need a converter from half inch to three eighths drive you always always need to have at least two sets of these when I was pulling off these bolts at the junkyard the first time before they kicked me out, I snapped this off. So, I always gotta have two sets in your go to box. What's going on is essentially the bolt that goes right in here is, um, is wedge shaped. So, if it's not in tight enough, it just spins. Upper knuckle to strut arm bolts are also 74 foot pounds, so these two up top. Watch this bar right here, it'll pivot. Next is the lower ball joint bolt right here. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see that. It's 44. Sanity check. We have the ball joint, the steering ball joint, um, torqued. We have the upper knuckle to sh sh um, strut bolts, both torqued. We have the lower ball joint torqued. Next, we gotta torque this. We cannot do it while the vehicle is raised. 
Now I always line it up the same way I had it before. You can see the wear pattern is smaller on this side than it is this side, so the bolt was on this side. And that's about as tight as is necessary for the time being. I sure hope the sound works. Damage from those idiots at the junkyard who were just a-holes the first time, nice the second time. Different guy. Zip tie. Safely out of the way. So this vehicle, we got 19 for the caliper bolts. 19 for the um, ball joint, 19 for the ball joint tool, 17 for the uh, strut uh, bolts, and, the, and then 14 for the lower ball joint. There we go, 74 there. Sanity check, sanity check. Got this, got these, got the sensor. Put the sensor wire back up top there. And then, see that's why we do a sanity check. Make sure you did everything. There we go, right in there. Okay, got that in place. And it's not stripped the Dickens. Oh, this is in place. That is in place for once. These are for a tool to remove this or this. So there's nothing that actually goes in those holes there. Um, except for when removing stuff. So next is the tire. nut or half shaft nut. This is 135 foot pounds initial. Then loosen it. Then we get to go to 37. So 37 foot pounds. That's it right there. Then we get to use a specialty tool. It's called an angle gauge. Allows you to get a precise angle without screwing it up. So, how it works for the one I have. I wish I'd gotten the magnetic one, but what can you afford, right? Stick this in here, and then you wanna rotate this until it don't spin no more. Then you reset this to zero. Or in this case, yeah, we'll set it to zero. This has got to go 60 degrees. Let's test it out. Some speed around that turn. It hasn't been that smooth in a long 
long time. Let's take another test drive. We are going 60 miles an hour. Maybe 58 gauge is a little bit off. But listen to that. No horrible screaming, bearing, yelling at me anymore. No more miss work because of this. Woo! All right, and that's how I swapped the steering knuckle on my Daewoo Nubrio. I'll leave a link down below in the description for some of the tools that I use, like that um, angle gauge. Also, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave me a like. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Did you like the process? Do you think I could have done it better? You know, just tell me what you think. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching Jake3D, and I'll see you in the next one. Now, back to some gaming.